right, that's uh, FC Porto 3, Manchester United 3. I just don't. I Honestly, KG, I don't know anymore. Oh, man. It's concerning on so many levels. That's a bit of an understatement. <laughs> Joey, fuck off. It's concerning because I don't even know how to turn that off. I'm trying to do, like, um, don't know how to do that on nothing. That's pissing me off. Um, yeah, it's just bullshit, really. That's where we're at. We're at. This is total bullshit. And the crazy thing is Man United just do this week in, week out. And that's what's crazy about the goal is it has papered over the cracks of what type of game that was. It's fine, bro. What that game's done is it's allowed us to paper over the cracks. Our manager's going to come out and say, we're brilliant. We're great. We show great character, great fight, this, that, and the other. Belief is crazy. Like, he's going to say, the squad, the, look at what he's done today. And you know what? Bless him. It's worked. He's the luckiest man in the world because while he hasn't been so lucky, that ch- that change has kept him in a job for a few more hours. Are you with me? I think if he, if he loses that game tonight, he loses his job tonight. There, there's an announcement. He's, not, he's no longer managing. But that hasn't happened for him. So we're here now. We're in this situation we find ourselves in of he still survived, but by the skin of his teeth. And the moment will come. We'll either be so far off that nothing can be done or it's going to be a horrendous result. And what scares me is we got to go play Villa. If I'm Villa, I've watched Man United and I'm so excited and pumped for this game. It's really scary hours. And make not mistake, make no mistake as well. Like, let's be honest here. Watching that game like tonight, yeah, Port weren't that good. They're not. They're not great. You know, they're not the same Port that played Arsenal in the Champions League last season. They lost a lot of players. They're not the same. But we. And guess what? We are the same though. We are. It's the same as last season. That's why again, get your bingo card out without any of the any of the catchphrases that we do. Cycle. Uh, but Sir Alex got time. Bring Ollie back. The players this, the players that, that. It's the same. It's the same every single week. You know, that's why that our reflex reaction to going 2-0 up in 20 minutes away from home in Europe is, this game ain't over. Because we know this team. We know this coach. We know this tactics. We've seen it for the last two years. We've seen these heavy um, goals conceded games. with a settled defense, a defense of his players. Let's, let's get it right. Martinez, I've rated him. But he stunk up the place. Him and Delip. That part, that's probably why he got. They both got taken off because they were shambles. You know, with uh, Dallow and Masri, much much better. Onana made a couple of good saves, but you know what you're getting with him. He's not going to do what De Gea used to, where he single handedly, you know, big saves. Um, our captain gets sent off. Same <laughs> twice in two games. Like it's, it's get, I mentioned at half time. It's Groundhog Day. We've seen this script. We've seen this show. It's the same old tired stuff every single week. And today we got away with it. But big picture, big picture, this cannot keep happening. With The only difference is, this is actually probably the sign of regression. Last season, at least we were doing it in the Champions League. This time we're doing it in Europa. We're meant to be a Leicester Europa. And it's not a one-off. If people say, oh, it's just one game, it's not one game. There's a reason why um, we've conceded uh, three goals plus more times than anyone since Eric Ten Hag came in. There was a reason why we'd conceded two goals plus more than anyone, any Premier League side since the beginning of last season. Like, it's it's not good enough. Like, that it's is just not enormous. good enough. Shit, One win man. in 10 in Europe. And spare me when people now start saying, wow, Porto away is difficult. Well, what about FC 20 last week then? Well, at home, that was tough, wasn't it? Against the side from the Eredivisie. Open your eyes, bigger picture. Not just this game tonight. But every time we play in Europe, not whether we're home, away, good team, bad team, it's the same. It's the same old stuff each time. What's crazy is, and it is just written in it, even that Maguire moment. It's like, yeah, we're going to go score this goal. We're going to do this thing that we do. We're going to be typical Man United, embarrass ourselves and just get something from the game. And we live on. But the truth is, is 
you the truth is clear for everyone to see. This can't continue. He's lost it. You're looking at the players, lack of belief on the bench, you know, forlorn. They know what's going on. We suck. That's the bottom line. We suck. We're, we're, we're terrible. And he's going to come out and say really annoying things. My team showed great mentality. My team showed good fight. But Eric, what else did they show? They showed a lack of lack of ability, lack of in-game management. They showed a, a team that conceded another three goals. We conceded six goals. When you add Liverpool, we conceded nine goals. Goals against for us this season in all competitions. I'd love to know what that stat is. What is that probably? Goals against for Man United in all competitions because it's probably ridiculous. But well, again, I guess why it goes back to like last season. That's why the excuses just won't wash, isn't it? Because last season marks because of injuries. But well, was it now then? We don't have many injuries now, but it's the same. So it's like, and again, this is when it goes back to when you take up all of these things. When people go like, well, no, actually it's the injuries. All right, the injuries have gone away largely. So what's it now? Well, actually it's because, oh, well, he hasn't got the players he wanted. Well, no, they're all his players. Well, that's because they're Oli players and they're Jose players or Louis van Gaal players. No, they're not. They're not. What is it? What is it? And again, I, I think that most United fans are not saying like, oh, we should be winning Premier Leagues at the moment. But what what did we what was the those biggest Ten Hag supporters were saying? Oh, but we'll see if he, if there's no improvement in in the third year, then he'll have to go. Well where's the improvement? It's exactly the same, but it's worse. Where is it? Oh man, this has been a tough it's a bit of pill to swallow, man. It sucks. You know our club is in disarray. We are the banner club. Um, it just says it's it's not planned, you know. Um, going to the centre backs, two centre backs to save you, that can't be a tactic. That's not what managers, you know. Like when you actually think it through of how the game should be played and stuff, you're telling me, okay, I get these little struggling, but mate, when are you going to do that every week? You're just going to take off the two centre backs because you need a like. And well done, it's worked for him. Well done, it's worked for him, but it it masks the real problems. And also as well, those that will say, well, Owen, you know, you said last season are the things to back him or whatever. I know, but this is when you have to go, actually, you know what? I'm see, I'm, I, I hope to see change. I hope to see progression. My eyes have been opened and it's not changing. There's new information now. You can't just keep saying those things over and over again, those excuses over and over again, and it'd be exactly the same. You have to see progression. You have to see improvement. And uh, look, I I'm, can't believe we actually <laughs> drew the game in the end, but it's just it's just not good enough. It's not good enough. And you can say and you can say it's enough. negative. You can say it's this. You can say it's that. Thank you cannot shit. watch that, that game or Thank the game shit. against Spurs or the game against Liverpool or whatever game you want to pick from this season, let alone last season, and then go, oh, yeah, but we'll be fine later on. When we, <laughs> What are we building to? Like, at the end of the day is my opinions change, but nothing's happened. And that's the other side of it. Like, I'm not mad at anyone for their opinion. If you feel like you need to keep the manager, that's how you feel. My simple opinion is I don't think it's working anymore. It's done. You know what I mean? And... The fact that Bruno got sent off in two consecutive games, yes, the um, the one against the one against the other team was silly. The one um against the first one was Spurs unlucky. Was silly. It was unlucky. It was unlucky. But I was just like, bro, it's unlucky. This is a shame. Today's just fucking foolish. You know, like imagine that didn't get overturned. So now you've been sent off in two two games, bro. So you've missed. Look how many games you're missing. New contract, you taking the piss?